Good morning. I feel like it's been forever. Welcome back to Follow Up Friday with Frenchie. I've missed you guys. Last week I simply did a post for you to read, print, and save on traveling and what you do with your home when you travel. If you didn't see it, go back and check it out. Let's mention this past Tuesday. Oh my goodness. Did you miss Frenchie's feature this last Tuesday? because we did a tattoo removal and I actually had my second one done because you have to do a couple phases sometimes uh, on my back. So I had my second one done yesterday. So it was very appropriate that we did Featured by Frenchie on Disappearing Ink this past Tuesday. Go check it out. It was a little intense, I'm not gonna lie, but it's very quick. So it's worth it if you have a job or an old tattoo or something you wanna change, go check them out there in Lawrenceville. They do a phenomenal job. Let's jump right into it. A few weeks ago, we mentioned the really important rooms in your house when you're buying a home that a lot of people are looking at or looking for. And I said I'd come back to the three most important. Well, today, we're gonna to talk about the kitchen really quick. So if you're not looking to buy that next home, but you're thinking about what to do in your current kitchen, we're gonna talk on that. And if you are looking for your next home, what do we need to look for? Because once you're in the home, you always think of everything that you should have looked for. And that's what I'm here for, to talk to you about what you need to pay attention to. I want to give a few shout outs today to some of my businesses that are either coming up for Featured by Frenchie or have been in the past. So these are from Sweet Farms. They have, um, they feature some local businesses and they're really cool, all organic type, coconut treated, oiled uh, wooden spoons. They're supposed to be for cooking, but when you have three kids, you never know what they're for, right? <laughs> so check these out. They're really neat. They're at Sweet Farms. They're up in uh, Zelenopo, Harmony area, uh, and they have a great website. I'm always posting about them. I also want to mention Grass Island Naturals is doing a juice cleanse. I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So I featured their saunas in the beginning of Featured by Frenchie this year, and she is also doing a juice cleanse. So June 10th, if you haven't ordered them, go to her site and grab her. And Social Revolution, give a shout out to them real quick. They have a paint and sip coming up, and I believe it's the 14th if I'm correct, but check on their site. I'll be sharing their info, and maybe you'll see me at the paint and sip. Back into kitchens. What's important in your kitchen? Well, you'll see nice empty space I have here. Our microwave died, so uh, we have to replace it. Of course, it's custom. It's going to cost me a mini fortune. It has to line up with air vents, all that fun jazz. So why am I telling you this? Appliances are so important. The age of appliances, I wouldn't look at as much because some of the older stuff lasts longer and the newer stuff doesn't last as long, but the type of appliance. So gas versus electric, two really important things when you're looking at buying a home or your home if you're looking to move things around. Do you have access to change those out in your appliances? I love a gas range to cook on. Um, I prefer an electric oven. I have gas ovens, it is what it is. My baking still will work, but I really do prefer a gas stove to cook on, so that's important for me. Uh, whether it be in my current home or my next home, is there accessibility to natural gas that, you know, can I access that? Or can I change it to electric? Is the voltage there? Uh, those are important things to look for. It makes a difference uh, for certain people, especially for me. I do not like to cook on an electric stove. I also really do prefer electric ovens, but I can make way either with those. Uh, storage, that would probably be the number one that people look for and then realize they have or don't have when they buy their first home or next home. So storage is so important. You're seeing all kinds of innovative things. I posted a few weeks ago, I was showing a home to a buyer and when you pulled out a hidden mirror, there was a really cool storage unit like built in the wall if the storage was there. So people are getting very inventive. An island, if you don't have one in your kitchen or maybe you don't even have room for one, they have the rolling cart islands that you can find. That's a great way to add extra storage to your kitchen. And your cabinets with that storage. How high are your cabinets? So mine go way up, uh, probably a good nine feet at least. Uh, that's great because there's extra storage. Maybe you just put the stuff up there you don't use, but can you even reach them? I know for some of my older clients, it's important. Are they even able to reach them? Uh, and then for the bottom storage, it's important if you have kids, can they get some of their own things or do we need to lock them out? There's a lot of things to look at with storage, and that's a number one, I would say, when you're looking for your kitchen. A kitchen island is a great way to add storage. Uh, it's also a space taker, so maybe you don't like that. That leads us right into the next one, the workspace. So if you have a kitchen island, I use mine all the time. Actually, it's the drop spot for everyone, right? 
visitors come in, they drop it on the island. The kids come in, their homework drops the mail. You name it, it's on my island, it drives me crazy. However, for entertaining purposes, for working, for cooking, I mean, I cook a lot. And so having that space, it's my workspace. An island is fantastic. So what type of workspace do you have in your kitchen? Now I say that and not everyone has an opportunity to have a large workspace in their kitchen. Maybe a home just has a smaller kitchen. So do you have room for that in dining kitchen, a kitchen table, or do you have to have a dining room separate, not an eat-in kitchen? And can you work on that table? I refer to my grandmother a lot because it's a big part of my life. We grew up and her kitchen couldn't have been any bigger than maybe a 10 by 10. Uh, and we always fit in there. My big fat Greek wedding fans, you know, the movie, well, I have a Syrian family. My grandmother that I'm referring to, Mimi, is not Syrian, but we still, everyone gathers in that kitchen. Uh, it's always the center point or the focal for my family. So the kitchen is really important in the space that's there. Her little 10 by 11 or 10 by 12 kitchen, we squeezed in. We baked cookies, we made turkey dinner, and it's just what we did. So where is your workspace in your kitchen? Do you have the countertop space? Do you need to buy a cutting board to put over your stove? I have seen that, it's fantastic. So you make it your work board. If you have a flat stove, you can put those boards on top. Little tricks to think about again, this isn't just if you're buying your home, but how to utilize what you have in your home. And that same work board that you might cover on your stove to cut on, like a cutting board or store things on, you can put right over top of your sink. And then again, you have more workspace there. Access to your outdoors. This is important for some of my clients and some people. So a lot of people like grilling season. We kind of grill all year long. Uh, we don't necessarily like to grill inside, obviously, but um, for outside purposes, we do use outside space a lot. So do you have that direct access outdoors? Is that important? Do you have a deck? Do you have a patio? Can you get right to that grill outside? And is it easy access in and out of your kitchen? Maybe you don't have any access in your current home. That's something you're thinking about. So you want that extra space. You want to be able to open a door and go out. Maybe you have a window there and you call that contractor to see if you can open that up and walk right out. It's important to think about, so access. How about walking space within your kitchen? Is there a way to reorganize where some of the things are in your kitchen to walk through? So there are times when we were in my grandmother's kitchen and it was bum to bum trying to cook and bake, right? You couldn't sit at the table and be at the stove. We had to move chairs to be at the stove. What can you do to redesign, move your, your kitchen table out of the way or move an island away if it's rollable? So with the table specifically, they have drop down leaves. Maybe it's just a matter of changing out your table to have that more space to walk in. What else do we have? The last thing I think I wanna mention because I don't like these videos to get too long is lighting. So currently we had to get some fixtures done in our kitchen and I'm actually missing lighting in here. It's driving me crazy. Uh, it's huge for your kitchen, not only for what you're looking at, how you're cooking, what you're seeing. I'm, you know, I always say I have stock in the electric company because we walk in the kitchen, it's click, 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 all the lights come on. It is huge for settings, anything, whether it's your living room, your office, but your kitchen. It sets the tone, it can set the mood. Uh, I love a bright, bright kitchen. So lighting from outside in, do you have natural light? I have a light from my uh, kitchen window right over top of my sink. That's usually pretty typical. You look out of your sink and that's where a lot of sinks are located. Out that kitchen window is right above your sink. But there's some places that aren't. So what type of lighting can you bring to your kitchen? A big trend that's been going the last three years specifically is under cabinet lighting. You can get those very inexpensive now. They can tape in, they can glue in. You don't have to screw them or anything. And then you just hit buttons. Uh, I know Alexa collect, connects to a lot of them. I have a really cool friend that they had up lighting that was connected through Alexa that they would just tell her what color. So when we were selling the house, I would tell them, hey, let's try, you know, Alexa, turn on kitchen lights red. And she would, and they would turn on up there. So the under space lighting is pretty cool. Uh, check that out. It's just a way to add to your current kitchen. Or again, something to think of when you're buying that next kitchen. I have my uh, featured by Frenchie mug. If you want one, let me know. I can uh, hook you up. I might know some people. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you to all the families out there that uh, have gotten through their family members passing and giving their lives. Memorial Day was just this past week and that is so true to my heart. It's so important to honor those soldiers. It means a lot. They died for our freedom. So we don't only really keep them in our memories, but thank you to the families that also have to go through that and lose that loved one. So freedom isn't always free and uh, 
America will only remain the home of the brave as long as it or remain the home of the free as long as it remains the home of the brave. Ranger Horton, I posted that this past Monday. So I did not have a chance to have a friend visit last Friday. We were supposed to do a live with a guest. It didn't work out. I got to visit him on Thursday. So shout out to Mr. G. Giovanni. He was an important friend of mine, meaning of the year, mentoring me a little bit with real estate. And we stayed in touch. He's out in Texas. I got to visit. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you continue to follow up Fridays with me and my Featured by Frenchie. I'll be in touch. Stay tuned this summer. There's so much going on. I will continue to post and continue to keep you involved. Thank you guys. Have a great week.